What up, it's your boy NWP, the Dope Man, and today we're talking about lag in 2018 on the game Fortnite, and if it matters or if it doesn't matter. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time to subscribe right now and hit that notification bell. Check out the link in the description for the giveaway, and uh, yeah, like I said, V-Buck giveaway, make sure you're entered in that. Uh... I don't know if there's anything else really to matter, but you know what I'm saying? If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. But uh, yeah, guys, seriously, 2018, and we're still like talking. I Like you still hear your friends, you still yourself complain about lag. Maybe your mom's starting to complain about lag. Your dad's getting into it. You know, you know nobody, but nobody's getting knocked off the modem. No, okay, seriously, no. Um lag it seems to be in at least in fortnite and in a few other games more recently but in fortnite specifically seems to have it really really tamed out and controlled um way better than you'd expect because as you see here i'm playing at like 130 to 180 millisecond ping at any given time and i'm really not having any adverse effects to the game so long range shots that's pretty good. I wouldn't I wouldn't complain about that to be honest. That doesn't look too bad. Building pretty normal looking, but you know the builds are coming out as I want them to. The only thing that really sucks here is my gameplay. You have to be honest, like this yeah, like everything seems really really in sync to where I want it to be like if I was playing and you know, like even in a competitive game. It just doesn't feel awkward at all. So I don't I'm I'm gonna have to say it's a myth at this point that lag in Fortnite is, is anything. I think more you can go and find smaller populations on the smaller servers that don't really make any sense that they're that they're there. And I'll explain what I mean. Uh, I'm playing uh, normally on North America East and you know, then we have North America West which there isn't a Canada East and West. There's just the North America. So that's two really big countries with a lot of people that have that. And, and technically there's other countries that still play on the North America servers, obviously. And, but then you have like the EU, which, you know, you don't have the great Britain server, you know, the England server, you have the great Britain server, but for some reason there are things like the Japan server and the Brazil server. Now, both that these are not the biggest countries in the world. They're not small countries, but I wouldn't say that they have the absolute largest population of people playing Fortnite at any given time. And because there's only say twenty percent of a, of, an, of the entire population of Fortnite, the entire everybody that plays, only twenty percent are decent. Not even good you know like like pro level but just good at like you know above the rest kind of play and then there's the pro players which is probably the like two percent okay so with such a small amount of good players to you know basically cannon fodder you're gonna risk the chances of finding way more crappy players when you play against a smaller populace because as the population goes down the actual number of good players goes down much more significantly in terms of uh, ratio for like you know, a hundred player game than in a large population. And then they, with the effects of randomly choosing people to go into any given game when they queue up also could put like every good player in one match for real. Like that's not, that shouldn't be rare. That should be how <laughs> random really works, but no, no, Lag itself does not really seem to be that terrible in Fortnite, but uh, players making really, really weird decisions, and by the fact that I didn't have to do very much building at all in this game throughout any of this video, as you notice, I really didn't have to do very much building. I made very stupid, minimal movements and did goofy things and was able to win every gunfight. Now, here I'm blocking myself off, but I'm talking about build fights. Like, this isn't really a build fight. And look how I got to end the game. Like, he just run over here, and that was it. That was his whole move. So I would say the player is actually more indicative of what you see with a higher ping. You're going to see worse players. 
So just keep that in mind for, you know, like everybody and uh, have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video.